I'm Noah, and this is Evan. It's Monday, April 25th, 2016, the same year as it was yesterday. Today is National DNA Day. So stay tuned for what people are watching with their eyeballs. Congratulations to Ashley Philbeck for placing 10th in the state academic team future problem solving individual competition. Congratulations to Jed Aaron and Skylar Walden for being named the 2016 prom king and queen. Attention JCL members, JCL will meet in room 201 during CCR on club day, Tuesday, April 26th. We will discuss end of year plans, sushi night, spring banquet and other officer applications. All JCL members are encouraged to attend. Attention seniors, this Friday is your deadline to submit pictures for senior slideshows to be shown at the breakfast during senior year. Each senior may submit a maximum of five photos, not six, five. The student's name must be on the back of each of the photos. The photos must be submitted in an envelope with the student's name and number of photos submitted. Photos may be submitted to Coach Hall in room 155, the room behind us. Now stay tuned for this week's Powers Point. Hello students, uh, just want to talk to you today about the, the word appreciation, uh, about giving appreciation. I want to start off with a quote and then I'll talk to you just for a minute and then uh, we'll close out. It says, I shall pass this way but once. Any good therefore that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. So I really like that quote because it reminds me that every day I have an opportunity to uh, give appreciation, give encouragement, give praise to uh, other people that are in my life. Uh, sometimes uh, it's easy to take for granted the people, especially the people that are close to you, and uh, we just kind of take them for granted. We expect them to always be there and do those things, and we don't tell them how much we appreciate and care for them. Um, but people need to hear it. Um, think about this week as you go throughout your week each day. What At least one person, think about who that might be that you can give a sincere and honest appreciation and praise to. Could maybe it be a teacher, maybe it's a custodian, uh, maybe, it's a, maybe it's someone in the uh, cafeteria staff, or uh, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a parent, a uh, sibling, someone in your life. There is, there is someone every day that you can give honest appreciation and uh, encouragement to. So that's kind of my, I guess, what I want to encourage you to do this week. Don't take people for granted. Uh, give appreciation. You'll be surprised what happens when you do that. Not only will it lift you up, but it definitely will lift the other person up. And you'll probably have more people coming to you and, and lifting you up because of that. So uh, just want to hope that you end up uh, on a good note. Uh, we've got four weeks left with seniors. Uh, we've got five weeks left with all of the rest of our student body. I want to make sure you guys uh, make good choices. Enjoyed uh, seeing you guys at the prom the other night. Those of you that went, you really look nice and, and, and I know that you had a good time. I had a lot of people come talk to me about how much fun they had, especially at after prom. So uh, you guys have a great week. And remember, encourage uh, people this week and give honest appreciation to them. Thank you. And uh, as always, stay classy DC. The Fine Arts Society and Art Department are offering a Timothy Adam Fulkerson Memorial Arts Scholarship to any DCHS senior planning to major in the visual arts in an accredited college in the fall of 2016. The applicants must have at least a 2.5 cumulative GPA. The scholarship will be awarded based upon the applicant's financial needs, GPA, and interest in the visual arts. The applications are available in the guidance office and the application deadline is this Thursday. Hey, app students, AP pre-administration will take place this Thursday in the cafeteria. Students will be called down at the beginning of CCR time. Attention students, all this week the recycling committee will be collecting previously loved stuffed animals that you probably have around your home and will donate them to moms on a mission. They are distributed to children who may be victims of a fire or accident by handing them a stuffed toy during the frightening experience. 
Not only will you be saving the earth, but you'll be helping a child in the community. So reduce that clutter and give us things. Attention seniors, this Kentucky Wesleyan Scholars Academy is taking place June 5th through 10th. This program is an immersive academy for students wanting a high caliber liberal <laughs> arts college education. Students can develop their strength in leadership or creative writing in abstract and concrete terms. Students who qualify and compete the academy are guaranteed at least $6,500 in KWC annual scholarship money. If you're interested, you need at least a 3.0 GPA and or a 23 on the ACT. The application is due May 13th, so please check with Ms. Campbell for more information on that thing that I just said. Attention underclassmen, if you are interested in helping to decide the destination of a spring break trip to Europe in 2018, Please stop by room 141 and pick up a survey from Mr. Easley. Possible destinations include, but are not limited to, Spain, Germany, Scotland and Ireland, or Italy and Greece. So look at those things. AP U.S. government sessions will be every Monday and Thursday beginning at 3.30 in Ms. Stillwell's room. And the AP language breakfast brush-up sessions will also be held on Thursdays in room 137 at 7.30 for breakfast and review. Attention seniors. Date for graduation has been set for Friday, May 27th at 6 p.m. in the Sports Center. If you haven't picked up your senior graduation materials, check with Ms. Anderson. You'll still need to pay Jostens before you can pick up your cap and gown. Payments should be in the form of cash, money, order, credit, debit card. No personal checks will be accepted or euros. Here's what's going on today at the school you attend. Girls tennis is taking on Grayson County at the Owensboro Tennis Center. Lady Panthers softball is taking on Owensboro Catholic here at the school you attend, beginning with the varsity game at 5.30 and the JV game at 7 o'clock. That is all the things that we have to tell you. Stay classy at the school you attend.